if you like a, a bit of music and you like a little bit of uh, a murder and mystery and suspense, the musical comedy Who Done It Is Curtains. It's on by the New Tabor and Players. Victoria, Danielle, and Andrea are here in the studio. Hello. Hello. Oh, I do wish it'd come out. You wish it'd come out of your shells, girls. Lo- lovely to see you. How you. How's everyone doing at the Taver and Players? Is everyone all right? Yeah, yeah. Great, thank you. Yeah, so, so the, the new Taver and Players. How long have uh, have you all been together then? Oh, many years. Yes, yeah. we've been together for a long, 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 time. long time. Yeah, you, you're yeah. having a look through your literature to see when you were established, yeah. now, aren't you? Yeah. 1975. That was the first musical we put on. Of course, you're far too young to remember any of that. Yes, really. I am. <laughs> uh, what, what, what about uh, your background? What got, got you into theatre and, and uh, dramatics in the first place? Come to you, Victoria, first. Oh well, I moved up from Essex about eleven years ago, and I used to do it back home. Where was that, in Essex? Brentwood. Oh, Brentwood. I know it well. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you, you've never been shy in coming forward then again? No, not really, no, no. Yeah, well, what's it like when you, when you, when you first join a, uh, uh, an organisation like the Taver and Players? I mean, is everyone really welcoming when you walk Oh, they were the... fabulous. I joined about two years ago. Um, quite nervous when I started, but it's massive family. Everyone's brilliant friends. Daniel, what about you? Well, I was kind of born into it because my whole family is into amateur dramatics. So there's no escape for you, really? No, not really. No. <laughs> uh, well, so who does what in your family? What else? Who's, who's well, my mum is producing the show, Tracy Malton, and my dad is also in the show, so... And my nana and granddad, they used to play the music for the show, so... Oh, right, so it goes back right, right through his... Is, yeah. is, is, is it a bad thing, having your mother producing this? And, 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 I think... People think she's, like, nicer to me, but she's no. harder on me, definitely. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> and, and Andrea, were, were you always a natural to go up on stage? Um, yeah, I sort of danced from the age of two. How oh, did you? Um, so, um, so, yes, yeah, started uh, very young and um, grew up in the West Midlands, did an awful lot of um, Amdram there. Whereabouts in the West um, Midlands? Near to Dudley. Oh, I know it well. Yes, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you know everywhere well. Well I, well, I, well, I, well, I worked at a commercial radio station in the Midlands for about ah, four, four years. Very good. Yes, yeah, so, 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 so I know the West Country in Dudley. Yes, indeed, indeed. You might hear a little um, twang here yeah, and there. But it's, it's very warm, fluffy and friendly, I always think, the accent from that neck of the woods, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, so, so you've got plenty of experience uh, behind you there. Yeah. Right, t- tell me, uh, what, what about the musical uh, comedy, Who Done It? Curtains! Tell me, tell me about it, where does it come from, who wrote it? It. Okay, well, it was written by um, Candor and Ebb. They wrote Cabaret in Chicago. Um, really well-known musicals. Been in the West End. Obviously, loads of people know them. Curtains isn't so well-known. Um, it first premiered in 2006 in Los Angeles and then came over to the UK in July 2010. And what about the plot, then? Um, basically, it's about a musical called Robin Hood that um, a group of pe- a group of professionals are putting on and the lead, Jessica Cranshaw, is really, really bad. She gets killed on opening night and detec- I can never say his name, Detective Choppy, Choppy. Choppy. Yeah. <laughs> has to- then comes in yeah. <laughs> then comes in to solve the murders and fix the show basically. So, g- getting killed in the opening scene, is that it then for her? Does she just have to be, is she just draped over a piece of furniture for the Pretty rest of the show? Well, we, we, we do take her off stage. So <laughs> 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 Drag her off by her ankles. <laughs> <laughs> so, h- how big a cast have you got for this then? Wow, there must be, I would say, between 35 Yeah, 35 40. to 40. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would think so. That yeah. must be, I mean, gr- great uh, great fun to work with so many people. It must be a nightmare logistically to get people in for rehearsals and uh, everyone yeah. in just the right place <laughs> at the same time. Definitely. We definitely. rehearse every Monday uh-huh. um, and Thursdays as well. Yeah. So I mean, it's a huge commitment. Yeah. And, you know, anyone coming into it, um, you know, needs to understand that it is a huge commitment. But very lucky that we've got, you know, um, very committed cast that enjoy doing it and um, are happy and to put in the time to make it, you know, a fantastic show. And uh, do, do the re, uh, rehearsals take place in Tabor and Village Hall as well? Yes. They do, yeah. 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 Uh, does, does anyone uh, here, does any, anyone, uh, you, you three, do, w- would you want to go on and do, do this professionally and full-time? 
I'm going to mm. say no. It's exhausting. By the it? end of show week, you're absolutely yeah. exhausted. So yeah, definitely. utmost respect to people who actually do it full but you, time. You, exactly. But having said that, I mean, I've worked with, um, luckily, with a pro- professional producer in the past, um, and they've actually said that amateurs have it much, much harder than everybody else because, you know, we have to go to work nine to five every day, sometimes yeah, longer true. than that. Then on top of that, we're coming to rehearsals. You know, we want to put on a professional show as well. Um, so we're all prepared to sort of like work hard, um, graft hard to do that. But we've also got families, um, you know, um, young children, it, it, good careers. So, you know, it's it's trying to fit everything in together, really. Oh, yeah, it would worry the life out of me. Because obviously doing this programme, I'm fortunate enough to speak to a lot of performers who, who do like the summer show at the Cromer Pavilion Theatre at the pier there and at the Kings and Corn Exchange and the Kings and Arts Centre and at the Theatre Royal in Norwich. And when, when I look at them, I think, how on earth do you go, sort of get all that energy and keep all that energy just for, for, for such a long theatre run? Uh, <laughs> Can you see the bags time? under no, my no, eyes? No. <laughs> Fresh as a daisy, darling. Fresh as a daisy. I'll hear. I'll hear none of it. So, how how, how funny or scary is uh, is, is curtains then? What, what it's sort of a bit mood? Of both, you to be honest yeah. with you, um, it has uh, it's it has some very funny moments. It's got some hilarious um, moments. And and obviously, you know, trying to work out who the um, who who actually did it, um, which is kept very close to our. To our hearts, we obviously can't breathe the word. You can't so, breathe the no. word. Not now, not now. No, no not at definitely all. not. So I think everyone needs to come, really, to yes. see it, just yeah, to find definitely. out who did it. Exactly. And it starts on uh, Monday the 16th? Monday the 16th of May. Through till Saturday the 21st. Yes. yes. Um, and uh, that's at half past seven, but a seven, seven o'clock start on the Saturday. Yes. 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 Right, OK, what I'll do is I'll give out the box office number in uh, just a couple of minutes when we've heard a tune. Tickets are £7 brilliant. or £6 concessions, I see here. From the lovely flyer. What a brilliant poster that <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, Who did that? Um, Chris Wright did the poster, and he's also in charge of the set and the scenery as well as Keith Brickham so there are two handy men (laughs) definitely (laughs) that's a bit of a bit of a rude laugh though when you say are two handy men (laughs) 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 they're the the men with the drills Uh, yeah they are very very important again I think we need to move on at at this point Uh, Victoria, Danielle and Andrea thanks very much for coming in thank Thank you. you good to see you have a great time with Curtains